when babies are born, it, they come into life and they, they, they cry and they scream and it's joyous and oftentimes there's pushing and exertion and labor and, and it's, you know, and then it's like life bursts forward. When the time of delivery comes, there is great expectation, but also concern. The celebration of birth is preceded by the silence of prayer. The risk of unseen complications is always present. I'm a specialist in women's health, specifically dealing with pregnancies that are complicated. So that would be um, women who have serious medical diseases such as diabetes or heart disease, asthma, and also babies that have got complications. The medical center was very busy. It was at the time the only place that poor women could deliver, women without health insurance. And so we averaged about 17,000 deliveries a year. And as a senior resident on the labor floor, in 24 hours, we would average about 55 deliveries, and I would average about 13 cesarean deliveries in a day, and in 24 hours. Isaiah 64 a Successful operations require great skill and strength by the doctor. This ultimately leads some doctors to seek God for assistance. As a surgeon, whenever you operate, you actually literally hold a person's life in your hands. You you um, have to have confidence where you're putting your instruments and your knife and what you're doing is going to do the right thing and not the wrong thing. When you're operating on a patient or a woman and they're losing a lot of blood and you wonder if the patient's going to survive or how you can continue because it looks so hard and so difficult you can't see your way out, um, many, many times I would take a deep breath and say a prayer and um, pray for strength. And most of the time, prayers were answered and it came out fine. And lots of times, um, outcomes weren't what you wanted. People died or people were very sick. And you always feel, you always go back when there's a bad outcome and you say, did I do the right thing? Could I have done something different? And it's really important to realize that we're fallible and we need forgiveness. Yet, O oh Lord, you are our Father. We are the clay, you are the potter. We are all your work of your hand. My stomach was very hurting a lot. And uh, I, I said, I better go and see what they'll tell me. So I remember I went and I told them that I came because of my pregnancy and that I had like something uh, vomiting all. Uh, I was around seven months pregnant when I had the stroke. I was nine days in the hospital. My husband felt good because he thought uh, so many doctors there that they were gonna help me. And he saw all these white coats s standing around her bed and he knew she was with angels and that she was going to be good, that God had sent his angels down. When I spoke with him afterwards, he said uh, they named their, their baby boy uh, middle name Jesus or Jesus because it was the miracle. God will uh, help them like move whatever because he's the one doing it. So the doctors will do what he wants. It was a little spot came on, like a little sore came on my foot, on my right foot. And then it got infected. And I went and had it checked by a foot doctor. He didn't uh, put me into a hospital. He just, it was like an outpatient surgery. And that led to gangrene, which it got infected more. So then they decided he was cut the whole foot off up to the ankle. And then I started praying that God would that send someone that I could feel like they was trustworthy, uh, they had enough care and, and enough uh, patience to understand my pain. Some of the doctor, how they came in, and actually it was like they were scared to touch it. You know, it was like I could I couldn't get that out of my mind. It's like, and I said to one of them, I said. You know, you got to tell me all this stuff, but I had, and, and I said to the doctor, I had 
you guys never touch it. It's like you're scared of it. It's, I mean, are you the doctor or what? There is a tendency, I think, to do what I had described earlier about distancing yourself from the patient and forgetting the patient is the one who's sick and human and in need. You know, I and mean, they never agreed on 100% what, you know, what they should do. So I was getting to wonder, is this the right thing to do? Uh, are, they, are they heading in the same direction? And I was really very disappointed in them. Whenever you approach a patient with a group of physicians, which certainly happens in teaching hospitals and certain happens in, in hospitals where, where the, more, the more ill a person is, the more likely there's a gaggle of doctors. And you actually have to address them by name and ask them for permission. And you need to touch them. They need to know they're important. They should have a doctor who really care about a human being overall. And don't just put us up, up like a number and treat us like he's just another number we got to deal with. We got to get him out of here and we got to go, we got to go to the next person. Just as an education gives the caregiver confidence, education can also give the caregiver compassion. I went back to school and I went and got a master's in medical education and I did this because I felt increasingly uh, the direction my life was being led that I needed to make good ethical physicians. Are you ready for the big day? I'll give you a picture. And so I look upon my job as Every doctor is unique, and it's my role to help them be in touch with what they need so that they can be a good person caring for who they need to care for. It's a big difference between the one that who care about the job, who care about the patient, and who care about how the patient been treated. And I think that, that means a lot because that means you can heal better, you have trust in them, and you feel like Okay, he don't did his best, or she don't did her best. And then once, once you do your best, that's all God asks us to do, do our best. You need to be able to forgive yourself and move on and learn from it, but realize that we're not God and we can't make everybody better. And we can only do our best.